Day two, we'll kick off then with the Christine Maiden. And there are only four runners in this one. It's a three mile and one furlong five year old plus hurdle. And at the top we've got Ted Nugent for Graham Clutterbuck. Long stay for David Hooley. Michigan for Leon Van Rensburg. And Orlando Princess for Vinnie Gerrard. So just four then to face the starter. And away they go in this opener on day two. The first week of the new season. And Ted Nugent is the first one to show for Graham Clutterbuck in his alternate colours. The Orlando Princess second for Vinnie Gerard in the green. And David Hooley had a good opening day yesterday. Got long story closest to us, and the back marker is just Michigan for Leon Van Rensburg. So that's your four runners then. And hopefully, one or two horses have been kept under wraps this week, and we'll get a few more next week. Otherwise, we're going to have small fields for the majority of the season. And as they get over the first, it's not going to be quite so. Excited as usual. Ted Nugent shows the way at the moment. Leading by about three dents. Ted Nugent, one of those loyal, more loathing characters, isn't he? As they get over the second. Not the sort of musician I've about down as a grand clutterbuck as one of his fans. He's more into his new romantic type stuff, isn't he? As they get over number three. And he's obviously. There's a day where he feels like chasing wild boar and shooting tigers and listening to Ted Nugent, which is really ungrey like as they get to the fourth. And then we'll skip over that. With Ted Nugent well clear. By about eight lengths. The rest of them virtually in a line. As they make their way round towards the next flight. Have all four trainers guaranteed some prize money if they stay on their feet. And normally at this point I'd be berating trainers who let a fifth place prize money go astray. But uh, there's so many small fields this week. I think they've got a race later today or maybe tomorrow where there's only two runners. And you can only run them once a week of course. Some stables will fill up over the next week or so, and they get over the next. And Ted Nugent is clearing the lead. Well, Michigan is moving into second. Orlando Princess on the inside, and Long Stay on the outside, and just the back two. They've still got well over 14 furlongs to go as they get over number seven. That's the midway point in the jumping done. And Ted Nugent is clearing the lead, but only by four or five now. Michigan, who's hard held in second. In fact, they all are really. Nobody has made a move yet, even though Ted Newton is four or five lengths clear. Doesn't appear to be going any faster than the jockey wants him to as they come past the post with a complete circuit to go. And Ted Newton will be hoping to still be in the lead when he gets past it the second time or the next time. Michigan. He's in second. Long stay is just about third now. The Orlando Princess on the inside in fourth. I'm swinging left handed. And Ted Nugent get to be headed. Michigan looks like the one who's going to be the first one to come through to lay down a challenge. Long story is still third. Orlando Princess is still fourth. Over the eighth they go, all hurdling well these. And Ted Nugent's lead is probably the shortest it's been now. Just three lengths, maybe less than that. Michigan second, a gap of three or four opened up now to Long Story and Orlando Princess as they get over that one. And Ted Nugent's lead is just a length. Michigan hard held in second. Over the tenth they go. All oh, hurdled it well. And Ted Nugent continuing to lead. Michigan just stalking in second. Orlando Princess has moved past long stay into third. Over the eleventh they go. There's three more flights to take now. And Ted Nugent leading still by a length. 
Michigan second. Gap of five then to long stay in Orlando Princess who are having their own little battle for third. They begin this long sweeping turn there into the home straight. Uh, Ted Nugent's been kept up to his work. Leads by a length. Michigan looks to be going better in second. Gap of five or six back to long stay and Orlando Princess. Ted Nugent kicks on again. Suddenly three clear. Michigan was caught a bit flat footed there, passing the four pole. Still what three flights to take, remember? And Ted Nugent's kicked on again by four lengths. But now Michigan starts to read him back in again. Gap back to Orlando Princess, who's currently winning the battle for third with long stay over the third last they go. And Ted Nugent was over in the lead, but now Michigan starts to close on the outside. These two are ten lengths clear of the other two. And now Ted Nugent's collared by Michigan over the second. That's a Michigan hits the front. And Michigan's gone on. Ted Nugent now starts to try and battle back, but Michigan's quickly gone two clear over the final flight. And Michigan's gone two clear, three clear, four clear five clear and Michigan is going to race up towards the line and still a furlong to go though but he's going to be five six seven eight lengths clear by the time he gets there I think he's pulling away nicely Ted Nugent's trying to close but got nothing left and Michigan is going to take this one pretty cozy up towards the line then there and Michigan takes it from Ted Nugent long time leader in second then long stay was third and then got back to Orlando Princess who was fourth in the last one to finish so a pretty uneventful start to day two and it won't be uneventful in the Van Rensburg household as though he's celebrating another winner and Michigan takes the opener for Leon Van Rensburg Ted Nugent second for Graham Clutterbuck Longstay for David Hooley third and Orlando Princess for Vinnie Gerard was fourth